Hey there, thanks for dropping by to check out today's podcast. Now, there's something I did want to clarify before actually getting into the podcast, and that was we changed subject matters midway through the podcast. Initially, this podcast was just going to focus on bad video games with really good soundtracks, but we were really struggling to come up with good examples aside from Devil May Cry 2 and Ninja Gaiden 3, for example. And so we decided midway through that we would talk about other games that were maybe underwhelming, underappreciated, that also had really good soundtracks that didn't really get appreciated at the time that those games came out. So with that said, I hope that you can still enjoy this podcast, despite it being a little bit confusing midway through, where it sounds like we're talking about something not necessarily related to the initial subject matter. But with that all said, let's get into the actual podcast itself. Hi, uh, welcome to another BioDevils podcast, and today I am here to talk about some video games that are bad or might be conceived as bad in some way, shape, or form. Maybe not necessarily as a bad game in the, in the traditional sense, but maybe like a bad sequel, for example, but having a really good soundtrack. And I'm joined here by a number of guests, so why don't we uh, go ahead and introduce them, starting off with Mr. Brandle. All right, I is here. Again. Yeah. Uh, after that, we got Mr. James playing some Tekken, of all things. Why are you going to snitch on me? I Hey, I got to do it. <laughs> the Yoshimitsu Master Race continues. How's it going, everyone? Yep. Uh, after that, we got Mr. Martin. It's good to be back. It's been years. <laughs> Has it literally? I, I don't remember, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the last time we did one of these, uh, we, we had Discord, and then it fucked up. And then we went to, like, a Google Hangout or some shit. It was those days. Like, uh, oh, jeez. God, Google yeah. Hangouts. Ugh. Yep, and then after that, we have a Mr. Singh. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I could be playing some Ghost of Tsushima right now, but I can't multitask for shit. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you want, we could play some Ghost after this, right? Because uh, the multiplayer. Oh, I'd still have to do a bit of single player first before I even think about trying the multiplayer. All right, well, fair enough. Okay, get but... your muscle memory up, then try that. Yeah, but I mean, we should try it out someday since it has crossplay now. So, uh, but yeah, we're not here to talk about Ghost yet maybe some other time uh but in the meantime uh we're here to talk about some bad games with good soundtracks and possibly why they even get to that point to begin with um so one of the games at least for me and i think for a lot of you guys that comes to mind is like devil may cry 2 where it's got this amazing soundtrack right but like the combat in it is for lack of a better term, not as great as some of the other entries within the series, right? Yeah. I don't know about that, Chief, considering how we got uh, Dante's first battle team in that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, like DMC2, like, for me at least, it, like, I always remembered it as having a really cool soundtrack. Um, that's the one thing I can never throw shade on that game for is the soundtrack is just perfect and it's kind of weird to me because like i feel like um and i was having this thought too the other night it was like um i wonder if like the composer for like that game or like if any any of the other games that we're going to talk about in a moment right uh if the composers thought like this game is so bad it might actually be career ending a career ending um so I might as well put in all the effort to release a really good soundtrack, so that way I could at least potentially save my career, right? Yeah, well, truth be told, <laughs> it's unlikely that a composer would have a career-ending project unless the soundtrack is actually bad. Mm -hmm. like, even if the product is quote unquote bad, you know, they can move on to another one. Like, we have plenty of great composers in bad movies that this will be a job, so it's not a career-ender. It yeah. won't be for us. Very bring up Ari of one to the shot. Well, that was more of a fraudulent soundtrack, so... <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying, in the sense that, like, yeah, you could have somebody who, at least at the time, people thought made a really bad soundtrack, right, end up making, and I say making very loosely, 
making a very well-known and beloved soundtrack for a completely unrelated game. So maybe not necessarily career ending, but I, I still wonder, like may maybe somebody out there has probably had that thought when, when working on like a soundtrack. But uh, what are some other games that you guys uh, like have, have in mind that also have like really good soundtracks that were not necessarily good games per se? Uh, I will say in this case, it's a decent soundtrack. I the best one in the series, but Mega Man X7. <laughs> Definitely does have a decent soundtrack though, but compared to the rest of the series, it's still not in the same standard. Mm -hmm. Hell, uh, Mega Man X6 as well, like, but that game actually has a good soundtrack. Well, there goes what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll leave XX, X6, I guess. I'm no, I was just gonna say XX. <laughs> yeah, Mega Man. Yeah. That's that's the only thing I know about Mega Man is uh, burn to yeah. the ground, burn to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'll take your word for it. But, like, I, I don't remember it too much. It's been a while. But, yeah. Hey, I don't blame you, bro. I don't fuck. <laughs> but like, but like I said though, like Seven is not doesn't have this highest standard of music compared to the other ones. But in isolation, though, it's still a pretty good soundtrack. I like the forest theme, and the characters to like. Yep. yep. Well, that's mostly oh, that's where my memory kind of ends. That's all I wanted to end, because the more I remember that game, the more angry I get. Because, holy shit, <laughs> I had a good time playing X7. Unfortunately, X6 lives rent free in my head. The Zero is blatantly broken in that game, that's probably the only redeeming factor besides that and the soundtrack. Um. Yeah, they were really cooking hard on the soundtrack for X6. No cap, almost every song in that game is a banger. Oh yeah. It kind of helps that some of them were straight up like the from previous games. So were they like is, uh, oh, yeah, they did... renditions of, of previous uh, game tracks or in light? They were like the homage remixes. Mm -hmm. Like um, Gates theme is, what is it, Bubble Crab? I think, or something. No, like that. you're you're getting that mixed up with. Uh, My thinking of X. Your uh, X five with. Uh, the submarine I'm, stage, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say Duff McWhalen, but that's no longer canon. <laughs> you shut up. That's a so much better of a name. <laughs> Tidal whale, more like Tidal snore. Duff McWhalen, that's got personality. All right. So, uh, what about some other games aside from like Mega Man? Uh, I have uh, one that comes into my head. Uh, mm. it's, uh, it's a PS2 game. Uh, it's a sequel to a fighting game made by uh, Epic Games. Mm. It was like from early 90s. It's, very, uh, it's called One Must Fall in 2097. And you can say whatever you want about that game, but it had a pretty good soundtrack. But then, uh, all of a sudden, they ha uh, a different studio able to make a sequel to that game and it's dodgy and it's like one of those like really bad like early like free rollers like it, it is fucking terrible that game but it had one of the most banger soundtracks i've heard in my life like it, it's some like early 2000s like techno slash trans mix of music it, it, it sounds absolutely fantastic and it, it's it's so fucking criminal that it's uh, <laughs> that it's such a shit game <laughs> It's, it's really good. Like, I listen to it <laughs> rather Yeah. Yeah, like, um, you know, actually, if, if I'm thinking of, like, something a little more modern, too, like, um, another game that kind of comes into mind that's uh, actually more of a hack and slash, and not necessarily so much that it's so bad that it's, uh, like, unplayable per se but it's definitely disappointing as a sequel uh ninja gaiden 3 or even just the razor's edge uh edition of ninja gaiden 3 because the soundtrack for that right soundtrack is fucking phenomenal in ninja gaiden 3 from what i've played of it but that game is very much a downgrade from the previous two entries in, in that franchise which is ironic because it mimics a lot of the same problems that the original NES Ninja Gaiden had. Trippy. 
So I feel like we should re rename this to mediocre and bad games that have really good soundtracks <laughs> because uh, a lot of games I could definitely list off are more mediocre or just disappointing more so than it being bad. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was just I was just throwing like bad as like a kind of blanket term, not necessarily meaning that those games are just downright bad, or maybe some people do think that they're bad, right? So more of like but, a generalization. Uh, well, I'm going to use a mediocre in this case, so um, I'm not actually going to throw uh, my hat into the Silent Hill race. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say four, not because it's, you know, again, I guess it's bad, but compared to the previous games, though, it has some problems that don't live up to the same standards. But, you no, know, from a writing standpoint, I thought, oh, excuse me, I thought it was really good. But the music in that game was probably my favorite of a bunch from the original four of oh, Air Colts Team Silent Games. Hmm. That and uh, say what you will about Homecoming, though, but I should do like the soundtrack in that game, too. Yeah, Homecoming's pretty good, uh, soundtrack wise, I would say. Nice Homecoming was the one where you play as the, uh, the guy that thought he was a soldier, right? Or am I thinking no, no, of. He is. No, he is a soldier. He just came back. Okay, yeah, because I, I, I don't. The guy's brother is dead. Yeah, I, I don't know too, too much about uh, Silent Hill, like, after the first three so so my knowledge is I a little bit shaky surprised. on that yeah anything post team silent i'm just like not super interested in just because like a lot of it is just like oh okay well like they start introducing mechanics like oh um weapon durability and like stamina and stuff like that right so um maybe i'll give those games a shot someday i don't know um, but actually, I would say as long as the composer was uh, Yamoka, you pretty much be in a safe bed soundtrack wise. Oh yeah, probably. I mean, I was gonna bring up actually, um, since we're talking Silent Hill, right? Uh, short message. I fucking despise that game, but the soundtrack is really good. Yeah, thank you, uh, Kira Amioka. I think that's, um, that's good. Yes. Yes, um, yeah, Akira Yamaoka did it, uh, so it's very, very akin to his previous works for, like, Silent Hill 2 and 3, um, so, like, you're not gonna hear any complaints from me in that regard, uh, I think it's probably one of the better soundtracks that you'll hear out of a Silent Hill game, um, that said, that game is really fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, if you want to see my review on that, it's uh, probably in the top right corner or in the description for you to check out. Yeah. Go watch his shit. But yeah. I, but, I, but, I, but I guess you're already doing that if you're watching this. Probably, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no like, I thought of, like, bad games, like, mediocre games. But mm. I think this kind of qualifies like I'm part of like old school RuneScape. <laughs> <laughs> old school RuneScape. <laughs> but I'm like, no way, man. No, I actually like that game. That game's pretty good. I mean, I think a lot of people do, so like, I don't think that qualifies. But yeah. I'm giving that yeah, game. game can be painfully mediocre and still have an audience. I mean, look at World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know what? Yeah, I'll throw that in there. Old school RuneScape. Banger, uh, shit, dude. <laughs> hey, yo, I want to turn my head to Square Enix real quick. Uh, I'm gonna say the Dragon Guard games, because uh, especially the first two, they're just Musou clones, and then you got Dragon Guard 3, which is just a mess and a half in terms of performance. But yeah, they're like painfully mediocre though, but that's such a fantastic soundtrack, as usual. But the, I think if you Kramer, really want to add to that, you could probably say the original version of Nier as well. I was about Great to say story. that. <laughs> I was literally about to say that. You yeah. think it's worth it? Yeah, yeah, that's Nier. it. Yeah, Nier. Yeah, the original Nier. Oh boy, that was a game. It was broken, it was janky, it was a lot of fun. But my that, god. That, that was the thing about that game. That game was fucking like, dog shit from a gameplay perspective. But they nailed story and like, soundtrack. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dracula. And uh, then they remade it and it's kind of fixed now, which is nice. Kind of, that's all fun. This game is fucking amazing. Like, oh. The gameplay actually live up to the freaking story now. Thank God. Yeah. Would have been nice if they gave you the option to use the old OST though. Yeah, yeah but admittedly, I actually prefer the new one. So I kind of lost in, in my ears. 
And nothing against the new one, it's just... I'm sure there are probably others that probably just want to play with the old one. I mean, they gave us the option to use the Nier Automata soundtrack, so... I mean, if they didn't let us play together. as Father Nier, man, that would be, you know, great as well. If they only give us the soundtrack, but we only have that option because of DLC, or, well, Air Force DLC. Game mode. Yeah, Dragon Guard and uh, Nier is not... A friend, like both franchises I haven't really spent too much time on um, Dragon Guard especially I've spent less time on that because I've only played a little bit of the first one um, but near for from what I played I really like enjoyed the soundtrack so I'm, I'd be interested to see like the earlier renditions of, of both franchises and see how they uh, stack up to like the newer stuff um, I guess I'm, like kind of another uh another game that like makes me wonder like what things were like for for the older games versus like how they are now is like um i think of like tekken 4 for example because like i know a lot of people don't really care for tekken 4 um but i really love that soundtrack and and i i like tekken 4 to an extent from what from what i remember of playing that game but i know it's not a fan favorite amongst uh, no, see, tekken, tekken fans 4. Tekken 4 was an excellent game, but it was very different. It felt like more like an experiment mm -hmm. type game, in which 5 and onwards refined what worked and what didn't work for um, Tekken 4. Yeah, I think 4 from a, like, uh, from like, uh, artistic to like, yeah, yeah, artistic standpoint. Yeah, it's just, I cool, agree. Actually, like, music, uh, the way it did it, it's like, that was really cool. It's just a shame that it was kind of young. It might... I mean, quite frankly, all Tekken games are jank, so I can't even give a shit for it. <laughs> yeah, but 4 was especially jank, like, oh my god. You haven't played 5, Don't get me started on 4. <laughs> have you played 5? Have you played Tag 2? I can give you a story on why those games are more jank than 4. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I played those too. Uh, I mean, especially Tag 2, I mean, like, my god, that's airplane combo still up, so, oh my god. <laughs> airplane combo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a quick like side side note. Take your tag too. If you want to get your pilot license, go right ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've not spent a lot of time on either of the Tekken Tag games. Um, actually, I haven't played Tekken Tag Two, but I have played a little bit of um, Tag One. Um, so I can only imagine like what that would be like. Because I, I haven't seen any gameplay for Tag 2. I think I maybe played a little bit of the demo that was on Tekken Hybrid. I can't remember, though. Um, yeah, I didn't spend too much time on the Tag games, so I have I have very... Like, I, I pretty much don't have an opinion on it. Uh, but yeah, like, what are some other games that uh, we probably kind of glossed over that uh, we didn't talk about yet? Uh, well, this might actually get me, um, glazed up for a different reason, but, um, Yakuza 3. So again, for example, I don't like that game. But, uh, yeah, the music, as usual, is fucking nice. Yeah. Let's see, that's a fair take. I, I'm somebody who loves Yakuza 3, but I don't like it for the combat. I love it for the, the story and everything else. For uh, me, that's a tricky uh, vote because... Again, considering the age of the game and the fact that it's remasters uh, didn't exactly translate some mechanics very well in a technical perspective. Yep, which is why I wanted a Kiwami 3 so, so badly. But no, I had to create it like, nah, we're not going to do Kiwami 3. I'm like, bitch, do it. Well, it's funny because, like, S Sega now is like, there's been rumors about them wanting to do a Kiwami 3, so it's like. Oh, well, nice. I guess you guys are going to try to do that now that the creator isn't on board at Sega, so, like, I guess that makes sense, right? But, like, at the time when, like, at the height of, like, these remakes and sequels, like, they should have capitalized on a Kiwami 3 and fixed the problems with the original. Oh, I got one here, by the way. Uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. <laughs> That game is dog shit, but I mean... Okay, that is just straight it's up just cheating. Michael Jackson, I mean... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just straight up cheating. 
We all know the reason what, why. What, what, what he's saying is, is that those are some fighting words, and uh, <laughs> and you should regret your decision right now. <laughs> uh, all, I, all I'm going to say is if you really want to, uh, some examples involving Sega, well, look no further than their friggin' mascot. Oh, oh. Sonic. Yeah. 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 And of course, if you really want a specific but... example, then yeah, there's Sonic 06. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sonic okay. 06, Shadow of Five, uh, Sonic Secret Rings, what is, which, that game is just painfully mediocre. That, that is the one thing I weave that franchise. It's like, all, all those uh, giant Sonic games have a pretty good soundtrack. Right, right. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, I don't know about all of them. <laughs> Sonic 4. No, I, no, I, no, I, no so, Sonic, Sonic or soundtrack is uh, scientifically dog shit. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! Oh, I love this debate right here. <laughs> I love, uh, I love Sonic R's soundtrack debate, man. Either you love it or you hate it. There's literally no middle ground, I swear. No, oh, fuck that game. I wanted us that definitely hate it. Uh, hell no. But... Super Sonic Rage. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know how to feel about that one. All I'm just I, saying I is, it. please do not have any more dying cats. Yes, Martin. <laughs> Uh, uh, I got another one as well here. Uh, Alone in the Dark. Like Which the one? one? Like the fifth yeah, you really got to narrow one? it down. The, oh, the, <laughs> um, you're talking about the one that was uh, published by Atari, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not Illumination, but the one that was just called Alone. The one Alone prior, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that was just called Alone in the Dark that retcons New Nightmare, but still yeah. takes the first three into canon just like new nightmare yeah yeah alone in the dark as a franchise is a fucking mess if you actually want to look into the lore um one of these days i do want to like do a full-on like review on that whole series probably not illumination because i don't give a fuck about that game but like um all the other games because i have all of them except for the the new remake um this is going to be something that I, I think would be pretty interesting to talk about and talk about what I would hope would happen with that franchise moving forward if I ever get around to it, but yeah. But no, like, I really like that game's soundtrack. Like, uh, I thought it like, fit the aesthetic and stuff very well. It's just a shame the game itself is fucking dog shit. But, um, yeah. what, what do you mean you don't like a platformer with fixed camera angles that turns into an over-the-shoulder game that also does first-person yeah. driving segments and uh, I mean what? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, Alone in the Dark is a weird one. I have not listened to the soundtrack for that game. Um, I've seen reviews of that game, uh, and the the main thing that I've seen out of that that just gets memed on a lot is uh, um, I'm the light bringer on the fucking universe because <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking quotable. I like, love your stone and. Fuck you! Oh yeah, and that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you actually uh, just reminded me another example. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm not sure so sure about the soundtrack part because there are tracks I definitely like, but some of it is kind of forgettable. But I would say if you want something that's technically bad, just from a like strictly gameplay perspective, uh, you could always go for the original Deadly Premonition. Yeah. I fucking hate that tune. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nah, that's a banger. It sounds like Mario. <laughs> what? Honestly, it really does sound like from Mario World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I'm trying to think uh, what what else was... Uh, what else is a game that it, like is not... Not so great, but the uh, tracks are really good in it. I guess like a, another one that comes to mind for me um, would probably be uh, it would probably be Resident Evil Survivor of all games. Um, that game is 
like yeah. you know really bad right but like for all intents and purposes it, it has a really decent soundtrack and honestly i think part of the problem with that game is not so much the the story or or even the soundtrack itself it's just more so how the gameplay is turned into like a arcade style re game which never really translated well for for resident evil games outside of like the chronicle chronicles games that were initially released on the wii so i think um yeah i think survivor would probably be a good fit um thankfully somebody is working on like a a a fixed camera angle to mod for that game which i I think is going to be very interesting to actually uh play that game in in a traditional sense for resident evil it's it's funny you should mention that because because like I'm just like Sony out there, like thinking about like horror games, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm just like a lot of pretty whack horror games actually have pretty good soundtracks. Yeah, because it's like it, 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 it's it's very important to have a good soundtrack, right? Or else like the horror game stands out as like okay, this cinema is even the slightest, like I get scared, right? But like it's something like a lot of them focus on. So even if they end up pretty bad, they have a pretty good soundtrack. Like I'm thinking about like. I mean, like, some of these games are pretty decent, but, like, I think, like, stuff like Clock Tower and stuff like that is pretty good as well. Uh, when we talk about Clock Tower, are we talking, like, the original one that, uh, the original, the original one that predated the PlayStation 1 Clock Tower, or the one that... I think most of them, like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Clock Tower 3 soundtrack is really goaded. I, I like 3, but it's not Capcom's best work. That's yeah. Haunting Ground. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so three sure. soundtrack is, is pretty on um, banger, especially when the um. What are you the talking chasing. about? It's a great shoujo game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like um, yeah, I, I haven't played too much of Clock Tower, or actually, I haven't played Clock Tower yet. But like, I've seen a bit of Clock Tower, uh, just people talking about it and stuff like that. Um, Clock Tower 3, I recall, it, it did have a pretty interesting soundtrack from what I've heard of it. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I haven't. I don't really have that much of an opinion on on Clock Tower itself. I don't like those games in general. I think they're very uh, janky. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh yeah, right. the older ones they especially. They have a really good soundtrack. Yeah, that's why I only like to play three on Hunter Ground because, like, I feel like those what could, could be the oh, yeah, Hunter. Um, Clock towers at their best, but like the older games, like I just can't do this. Like it just same thing for like the older Long and Dark. I can't, I can't play those games. By the way, I haven't played Ghost Head, and I've heard that game is especially dog shit. So I'm not saying anything about that. Oh, that's but... Sing's favorite game, dude. <laughs> yeah, Sing. <Okay>. Fuck. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry, but getting soft lock because you checked a piece of armor too early or something along those lines is yeah, like absolute bad shit. That. Really, the only thing it has going for is the fact that. Literally, like, well, we even talk about this because it's a spoiler, but all yeah, go for it. If you like go- hearing Ghostface, you'll like hearing this game, but that's about it. But yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, like, if we think, it, if, like, this is gonna be a bit controversial because it's a game, mm-hmm. like, it's a game franchise I don't like, but a lot of people do. It's uh, Shenmue. Shenmue? Yeah, Actually, I think that counts. It, fair I'm, enough. Uh, in, in my world, that counts. I think Shenmue sucks. Yeah, fair enough. I I, I uh, understand. Three not, yeah. No, three is not particularly the most popular one between the bunch, so I totally respect that. Yeah, I I I understand the that take. Um, yeah. I could obviously talk about Shenmue all day because I, yeah. I fucking yeah. love Shenmue. So like, I'll give you like. A million reasons as to why like Shenmue Three is actually a really underrated and underappreciated game. Um, Are we including underrated now, <laughs> dude? Yeah, yeah just... uh, we we added mediocre to the list because like bad games is like. Yeah, I, I was so gonna tiny. suggest that. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's good. I was gonna suggest that myself actually. So this works out. Has yeah, anybody yeah. brought up Chaos Legion yet? Nope. Oh yeah, shit. Nope. We could nope. we could talk about Chaos Legion. Let, let yeah. me let me cook. I still listen to that game <laughs> soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even played the game yet. Yeah, Chaos Legion <laughs> Chaos Legion has a really good fucking soundtrack. Um it 
it does play a little awkwardly. Um, it, it's not like it doesn't play like a traditional hack and slash. Um, like I, I guess uh, for people that that want to have an idea of what it plays, like think of like Devil May Cry Five V, but a mm, little bit awkward. Uh, in the sense that, like, you still have, like, traditional hack and slash mechanics and abilities, but you also can walk slow at a, at a really slow pace when, you're, when your legions or, or your monsters are summoned and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting game. I really wish Capcom would fucking remaster it because it's, it's, um, it's definitely one of those games that has a very unique soundtrack that... Honestly, I think people would probably appreciate now. While I wouldn't mind the gaming in a remaster, I would personally prefer a sequel. That game suffers from I would be so good with a sequel that streamlined thing. Oh, I agree. Um, I just think that like with the remaster too, you would also in reintroduce the game to people that have never played it before. And it also would bring in um, potentially new feedback, if not some of the same old feedback that they might have gotten to work on a sequel to help improve that game, right? Like that that's I, I think that's what I would I would have in mind, but um did you have anything else else uh, that you wanted to talk about as far as like uh tracks that are like uh, under underappreciated maybe James? I'll take a rain check on that. I need like two minutes to think about it. All right. How about Sing? Oh, uh, hmm. I don't know about tracks in particular because I can't really decide. But going back to Square here, uh, we do have one controversial entry here. I'll just focus on the first one in particular. But uh, I think Martin might know what I'm talking about when I say Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them, actually. All of them. It's a bit weird because, well, I don't know it's about, uh, and, or sorry, 13.2 in particular, but Lightning Returns is way too different for me to put on the same level as the other two, so. But, I so. yeah, well, I would say, three. yeah, at least for all three, yeah, questionable games, but no doubt the soundtrack in general is just... Yeah, really yeah presentation uh, in those games what I think about game story and stuff. Like, uh, I think presentation, like, they absolutely yesterday. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, the game's Square, Square failed in the music department. It's not a good game. Period. They look great in the software. Mm. Oh, uh, you know what? Because I completely forgot to mention this when uh, we were talking about Yakuza. But I would actually say the uh, the first PSP Yakuza game has a really good track. Um, like, a lot of the, the battle music in that game is just really cool. And I, I kind of like to imagine what it would sound like if it got, like, a rearranged or remixed version for, like, a full-on remake, which I really believe, like, they should remake those games. Actually, no, fuck it. James, you, you might agree with this one. Darksiders 3. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole series in general is a little underrated. Still to this uh, day. Underrated, but 3 is just mediocre as shit. As a Darksiders game. Yeah, but the soundtrack. As a Darksiders game, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty low, bro. To say the least. I mean, the soundtrack you is good. You guys can say anything uh, about that game. I just quit, like, yeah, I don't know, like, one boss in. To see something good. So three composer. Was it Jesper Kite? No. You said no? No. Then it wasn't as no. good as one and two because Jesper Kite is a master of video game music. He only did two actually, which is amazing. So then who did Well, he's also one? responsible for all the he's also responsible for all the good Assassin's Creed music, so he's yeah. got some big ups. Oh yeah, and he's responsible for everything good that is the Hitman series music. Yeah, uh, Absolution um, did not deliver in the soundtrack department as compared to the other previous There's games. There's a bad game. <laughs> no. 
Yeah. I, I will say it's more so a bad Hitman game, more so than a bad game. But even still, like it has a lot of redeeming qualities that ultimately did help the series more so than hurt. I mean, I could bring up like Hitman One's a pretty rough game, but oh, it's, again, God, really good one. soundtrack. Yeah. yeah, the first Hitman, pretty rough, but soundtrack is awesome. I think all of them besides Absolution have great soundtracks in general. It's yeah, just, I, I Absolution agree. isn't bad, but it doesn't stand. Out. It's not rememberable at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally I don't remember the series. Soundtrack tonight. I would say the series dropped in music quality around the time that the reboot happened, or the World of Assassination reboot, whatever you want to call it. I disagree uh, they, with that. There were more. I, I very much disagree, disagree with that, but it's more so ambient compared to Jesper Kid's um, soundtracks. That's what I mean. I don't feel it as much. It doesn't get me in the mood as much as Jesper's music. Yeah, I mean, like, you had Blood Money where, like, you would approach the target and, uh... Or, <laughs> the or, or I would argue, um... It's either, I'm not sure which one's my favorite, either Blood Money or Contracts in terms of music, because good lord, Contracts is some heavy shit. Hell yeah. No, I fucking love Hit, Hit, Hitman, I think, yeah. But yeah, like, I, I would say the earlier entries kind of both, but yeah. It's, uh, oh, it just came to me. It, it, it just hit me. Not bad, but definitely underrated is Tenchu series music. If you love a good mix yep. between traditional Japanese mixed in with some rock every now and then, yeah, you'll probably like that game's soundtrack a lot. You know what, since you're bringing up a stealth franchise, uh, I want to bring up, bring up a spin-off for a very popular stealth franchise, Metal Gear Acid. Because... Uh, <laughs> Look, I, I played a little bit of Acid uh, last year when I was like, and it's ass. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, well, it's not bad. It's just, it's a very unique game. Like, it's clearly not Metal Gear. It just Metal Gear with a different know, coat of paint. Your your hesitation paints a picture. The fact that you went, <laughs> uh, not not a good defense already. Well, like what I'm what I'm saying is like it's. <laughs> Like, if you're expecting a Kojima-style, like, you know, ridiculous, like, espionage story, you're not getting it, right? It's it's really out there. No. Um, but, uh, as, like, as its own, like, unique, like, little spin-off, it's not the worst game in the world. Uh, it's just very different. Uh, the soundtrack, though, from what I've listened to so far is actually pretty cool. So I, I will give it that, that it does have a pretty unique soundtrack. Uh, definitely, I think, stands apart from some of the, even the mainline entries. Ooh, yeah. Guilty Gear 2 had a great soundtrack. Over here. Oh, no, That's speaking of Guilty Gear. Speaking of Guilty Gear, though, oh, yeah. this might be an unpopular being though, amongst masses, though, but I'm personally not a big fan of Strive, but the soundtrack is a banger. Yeah. I don't feel like I don't feel like on Guilty Gear's worst day, it could have a bad soundtrack. Yeah, Even it, Overture. Also, yeah, it has one of the coolest looking designs for Soul. That's just bonus points for me. Oh, I agree, Mike. Yeah, Overture's soundtrack is just phenomenal. Uh, I, I, I don't like the first Guilty Gear game either, but that also is a pretty good soundtrack. You know, in the case of Arcs though, they usually never miss with the music, but this is the yep. first time I actually think where they actually did kind of sort of miss. And that's with Dragon Ball Fighters, with the character themes. Most of them, is, they try to make Guilty Gear, but Dragon Ball with the sound dragon. I'm like, it doesn't mix, in my opinion. Although it does make me wonder how much, not... uh, I was going to say, uh, it does make me wonder how much of uh, influence Bamco had on that. You know, okay, I'm gonna throw this one at Brandon. Brandon, since you threw on at me, I'm gonna hit you with something. I'm surprised you haven't mentioned it, Miss. You're a big Sonic fan. Sonic 06. Game is uh, crap. We did, we did, we did talk about fire. Sonic, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I well, that's what I get for missing. Darn it. Yes, yes, this is what happens when you go eating in the middle of the. <laughs> yes. yeah, Damn. My yeah, stomach takes priority. Okay, good. You mentioned Shadow. Mm -hmm. Well, we're off the Sonic train then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're already. I'll, I'll take the egg really... on my face. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, if I you have... want to mention one, then be my guess. I have one. Uh, time splitters. Since we're talking underrated, and time splitters hasn't been the 
played for damn near two decades. Yeah. Considering that game is a time traveling game, it takes place in so many different eras, you get a really good variety of music. Mm -hmm. The main theme of the series is mostly machine or techno ish. It's the early 2000s, so you know techno was the hottest thing at the time. Um, I would rate all three of those games banger soundtracks. Better than four. I, I have a, I have another. Or never one. happened. I have another one actually, like a PS1 era uh, soundtrack, um, and this is one that I'm actually for for a game that I'm almost done with. Uh, the it's a game called Kodelka for anybody that's probably heard me talk about it before, or maybe not. Um, I know these guys definitely have. But um, take a drink every time Dom here. mentions a horror game. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like anytime I'm gonna mention like something that's like underrated. It's probably gonna be a horror game just because there's a lot of underrated horror games, right? Um, but yeah, Kodelka has a really good soundtrack, and um, it's really weird too because like that game is underrated in the sense that not a lot of people really played it back in the day. But it has a really good. Um, Really good soundtrack, really good voice acting, and, and a very interesting uh, take on like an RPG formula, uh, given that it's horror themed, right? Um, so that one I think is, for me at least, like one of one of the games that I would just put up on the top of my list for like very underrated uh, soundtracks. I haven't touched it. So. <laughs> yeah i would i would so normally i would recommend people try to pick up uh the original games for for anything that i, I like to talk about whether it be like physically or digitally right but um this is one of those games where because of how skewed the price points are for even getting like a loose copy of that game um at least anywhere outside of the u.s that is um or I'm sorry, any anywhere outside of the U.S. it's not going to be a problem, but anywhere in the U.S. it's going to be a problem because you're you're looking at anywhere from like four to five hundred dollars for like loose copies of that game. Um, whereas like if you're looking at like European copies or even Japanese copies in some cases, they might be affordable. But I'm not going to make any promises because you know prices could change at any mo at any point. Okay, I, I actually have another like horror game. What well, kind of horror game or started out as a horror franchise? And this might be a bit of a hot take, um, but I would say uh, Dino Crisis Two. Uh, I don't particularly like Dino Crisis Two because it's more of an action game. I don't think it's necessarily a bad game. I just think that like it very very much strays away from what Dino Crisis One what? was. Considering the conversation we're having right now, you are considering it to be a bad game or video. So, I mean, you kind of set yourself up for that one too. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. So, like, I, I know that, like, it's it's a hot take, I know for sure. But, like, I do really like the soundtrack to both Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Um, I just don't think that Dino Crisis 2 is really that good. But that's just my opinion on that. That's ironic considering you sent for 1 so much. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 go on. Uh, uh, speaking of horror games, uh, I've, I've got a, like Parasite in the series, right? Like two, two was a good one, and two, two one, like, one. And uh, the dog shit one, the third birthday, had a great soundtrack as well. I did listen to the soundtrack to the third birthday, and I'm just like, uh, man, this is a fucking banger track. I even, I even like how they redid the battle track from one. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's the same guy that made FF13 success or not. It was back to what we were saying earlier. Nails, mm. Nails presentation, the Nails soundtrack, dog shit game. Yeah, don't, don't get me started on Parasite. Dog oh, shit story. Not, I'm not even going to get in that conversation. Uh, a podcast for another day. One of these days, I'm going to have to play Parasite Eve so we can talk about it on a podcast, right? And I'm going to play Third Birthday because, like, these guys really don't want me to. I am just so fucking curious no, about it. Like, no, 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 I want you to because I, I, I will, I will be there just to shit on it. Like, 
All I'm just gonna say is, by the time you're done, you're gonna feel like a dirty old man. Oh, I might. I just, I really want to know, like, why is it so bad, you know? Like... It's just hard like, to talk about without spoiling anything. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I get you. It's just like, it's just one of those things where, like, I've heard so much about people not liking that game, but I just want to know, like, what makes it so bad. But I also have to play the first two, which, um... I might do sooner or later because, like, um, you know, I'm almost done with some of the Final Fantasy games that I've been playing, so it's just less games in my backlog, so I can probably get on that much sooner than anticipated. I don't know. Uh, so are there any other games that we want to talk about before we uh, wrap things up here? Mm, i trying to think. What about games that used to be popular that aren't anymore? Uh, if I, I don't know if I could throw that in. Yeah, I don't know if I could throw that into the category of like soundtracks. I mean, that's opening a box. I, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you this. Like, if, if you guys want to talk about that for a bit too, like, like. I only bring it up because I guess by today's standards, it's obscure. Yeah, I, I think that'd be fair. Like, if that's something you guys want to talk about, like, just to talk about soundtracks in general, like, yeah, I'd be down for that. I, I'm probably the only goofball that's played this game way back in the day. It was Guns the Duel, 2004. Never heard of it. I remember yep, him gushing I mean? about it. <laughs> I remember I him to gushing about them. it. Like, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, there's like this really cool like online PvP game, and like it has like this really um, like masochistic control scheme because you have to play it this very specific way for all the like movement that the community like figured out you could do that the developers yep. never intended for <laughs> like it like... really elevated the hell out of that game and put it into a very high spot like honestly if it was an, a game for esports today it would be the most demanding esports game period i say i would no hesitation that would be one of the highest skill curve games to play professionally mm. um but the soundtrack is freaking amazing um it's mostly industrial rock so if you love that, you will like it. And they met the first time I've ever heard a violin and electric guitar go together. So that was fun to listen to. <laughs> yeah, I never hear the soundtracks for guns, so I got to check it out. I will gladly link them down below. Anything else? I don't know. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Half-Life. one obscure. Because uh, a lot of people mention Half-Life as like this great game, but like they don't talk about the song. It has a soundtrack? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, all Could the have me. have great, great music. Hmm. Yeah, um, uh, so I guess we're pretty much done here, right? We're, we're all good. Uh, nothing else we could really think of. So, uh, do you guys want to go ahead and do some outros here and, uh, wrap things up for tonight? Alrighty, so uh, with that all said, uh, Brandel, where can we find you? Uh, Twitter, Mono Brandel, link to in bio. Bye. Alrighty, up next we got James. Where can we find you, good sir? On the ship, we're playing Lethal Company, and on Twitter at Dev Hunter James. <laughs> nice, uh, Martin. Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Psycho. Uh, also, uh, side note, uh, go get your uh, take. Taking Tag 2 pilot license right now. <laughs> go, go play that game. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, last but not least, Sing, where can we find you, good sir? You can just find me on Twitter at uh, Sing underscore long, assuming I'm not stuck still playing Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, and uh, you guys can find me as BioDevil underscore Dom. I have a link tree to everything that I'm associated with at the moment. Um... So we are pretty much all set with this podcast. I don't know what our next podcast is going to be. I'm just going to have to come up with something in the coming months. Because uh, in the meantime, I am actually nearly done with this RE3 script for this review. Although don't expect that anytime soon because I'm still nowhere near done with the uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim or Resident Evil 4 yeah, reviews. So I am getting close, <laughs> but... Things are coming along.
slowly but surely. So bear with me, but expect content. Uh, but with that all said, uh, we hope you all enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. See ya.